wow, wow. I'm just wow. I'm just wow. So guys, yesterday I saw a vision. Um, this was yesterday in the daytime. I wrote it, but I wrote it down. And I saw a vision of a bunch of roses that were on a table, like a vase with roses. And this is the roses that somebody received from their kingdom husband. For the last couple of days, I've just been getting a lot of kingdom marriage words. That is insane. But he showed me the bouquet of roses. This had nothing to do with Valentine's Day. This was someone that brought a bouquet of roses to their partner. And oh my goodness, I just want to say, wow, the videos are connecting. Your kingdom husband is very proud of you. Very proud of you. Wow, very proud of you. And it makes sense as to God, why God gave me that video about the characteristics and the traits and he is faithful and all this stuff. Like God is reassuring somebody. The fact that many kingdom wives, not all, but many of them do find out the revelation first about like witchcraft and stuff. Sometimes the men do, depends. Um, but I, you, I usually see a lot more of the wives, they find this out first and they're the ones that are usually interceding and praying and, and stuff. And the husbands usually catch on like after, not all, but like, you know, some of them, they catch on after, but to be that prayer warrior, to be strong enough to intercede in that way and have so much faith and courage and strength in God to be able to do this. It reminds me of Esther what I just spoke about in the video I posted earlier. That's why I said it reminds me of the video I posted earlier. And um, this is why your kingdom husband is proud of you. Because some people, they just be like, oh, I don't even care. But some people are like, no, I'm fighting. I'm fighting this marital curse. I'm fighting the spirit of rejection. I'm fighting every single witchcraft that has been done to me. I am fighting it. And I'm going to pray. I'm going to fast. I'm going to intercede. Like... Oh my goodness, I'm getting emotional. The fact that many of you guys chose not to give up and just pray and, and change your lives. And even though this is a word for someone, I want to just say, I know many women and many men have done this. And the fact that you're fighting like this and you're not giving up and you're not going to allow the kingdom of darkness, the rulers of evil to dictate your purpose, your life, your future and take over what is meant for you and you you literally chose to fight the good fight you are a good steward of the lord you are a good steward like oh my goodness and it makes sense why this kingdom husband said, said he's proud of this wife right so this is a here you're gonna know because god told you god may have said he's proud of you god may have said your husband's proud of you. God said something about someone being proud of you. That's how you're going to know this word is for you. <laughs> God, God said that. So, um, oh my gosh. And then it reminds me of what I said yesterday when I said many of you guys, you have people that are literally depending on you and that your purpose is not just for you. And not just to talk about kingdom husbands, but people in general that God is going to bring in your life that you are going to be helping. Your purpose is to be a service to others and you're going to be able to help other people. And that is big. And here's the thing. If you know how to cover yourself, you know how to fight for your purpose. You know how to fight for your birthright. You know how to fight the good fight. You know how to be obedient. You know how to do everything you need to do. You're going to be able to help cover other people because you're already doing it with yourself. Because you're already doing it for your partner, your husband, or your wife. So now you're going to be able to do it for others. And you are, oh my goodness. I just want to say whoever this word is for, your kingdom husband is proud of you. So I wanted to give you the confirmation, okay? I love you guys. I'll talk to you later. Bye.